This is exactly what we're going to be breaking down for you today. We're going to be covering employment benefits, education benefits, recreational benefits, department of motor vehicle benefits, entertainment benefits, cemeteries and life insurance benefits, and of course, housing benefits. As I mentioned, I'm going to save those to the end because they're my personal favorite, but you don't want to miss out on those. If you're a veteran like me and my business partner, then first of all, thank you for your service. And we appreciate everything that you have done for this country. And by the way, let me know in the comments below uh, what unit did you serve with and did you do any tours in Iraq like myself and my business partner Travis now he was with the Navy we won't hold that against him but uh, I was with the 36th Infantry Division deployed in 2005 that's right a little old school deployment there uh, I was uh, 11 Bravo Infantry and was attached to Bravo Company 111th Engineers part of the 36th Infantry Division and we were underneath uh, 18th Airborne Corps at the time over in Baghdad Iraq I was in Camp Slayer. So, you know, let me know where you were at, service, deployments, all that good stuff in the comments below. Always interested in learning more about our veterans out there that are watching this channel. And if you live in Texas or you're considering making a move to Texas, then we are going to share with you all of the benefits that come with being a Texas resident, uh, or even if you're going to PCS here or retire here, then I believe this is the best state. Now, Florida, uh, could be a close second uh, there as well. So they've got some other options as well. But Texas by far, in my opinion, which is why we're here, has some amazing benefits and we love our veterans here and our government loves our veterans here. So I think it's very important to be a part of a state and an economy and an atmosphere that appreciates the service that you know we have provided. I'm not, you know, not looking for anything special, but I'm just saying that it's nice to be appreciated. And so I want to go in this video and walk you through all of the benefits that you will receive and please stick around till the end because I'm going to get to the housing benefits which I believe are the best opportunities for veterans especially retiring here and if you have any disability connections uh, service related then you're going to have some extra added benefits that will really make Texas look enticing for you and by the way my name is Levi Lassick my business partner Travis and I run one of the top real estate teams here in the Dallas Texas area and so if you're thinking about making that move whether it's nine days or 90 days you know feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom call. Or if you know your date that you'll be getting out and you kind of want to plan a little bit in advance, we're here to help you really make a smooth transition into that civilian life. And it's something that, you know, we both have experience with. Uh, Travis also did a couple of combat tours in Iraq uh, with the Navy. And we know, you know, making that transition into the civilian life can be difficult, you know, because we've been there. And I know I did that, came home in 2006 from uh, spending 12 months over in Iraq, running combat patrols, QRF, base camp security, and all that fun stuff in the middle of Baghdad at that time. You know, as I look back, it was one of the greatest accomplishments of my life, something I'm very proud of and proud to be a part of the veteran community. And we want to give back and serve you as best as possible. And we've helped a lot of veterans make their move here to the Dallas, Texas area. And if you're not looking at Dallas and you're looking anywhere in Texas, we've got many referral partners throughout the state that are very well qualified and that will take amazing amazing care of you. And so even if you're not making that move to the Dallas, feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to connect you with one of our trusted partners around the state. So let's jump into employment benefits for veterans here in Texas. Now, Texas offers a variety of benefits for the veterans, whether that's priority service, employment preference, and training programs. And they even have something for business owners as well if you're looking to start your own company when you get out of the service. Now, number one, let's talk about priority service. Veterans have priority service for all employment, job training, and related services provided by the Texas Workforce Commission, also known as the TWC. This means that veterans are given first consideration for jobs, training programs, and other services. If a state employer requires a competitive examination for selecting or promoting employees, an individual eligible for veterans hiring preference who is qualified for that position and received a passing score will have 10 points added to their test score. A veteran who has a service-connected disability will have an additional five points added to their test score. So, I mean, it's kind of like cheating a little bit, right? No, I'm just kidding. You've earned that right. So what they're saying is that they have some testing that will be required to get you in certain positions, but based on your prior service and also service related disabilities, they will add points to your score, which is great because sometimes us veterans are not that great at taking tests. Now here are the individuals that are eligible for the veterans preference. 
honorably discharged veterans who served on active duty in the U.S. Armed Forces for at least 90 consecutive days during a declared national emergency or was discharged prior to 90 days due to a service-connected disability. Honorably discharged veterans with a service-connected disability as determined by the VA or their branch of service. Veterans unmarried surviving spouse. Orphan of a veteran who was killed while on active duty. There's also several training programs that are offered to veterans here in Texas. This includes career counseling, job search assistance, on-the-job training, and training for specific industries. You may have heard of the new benefits that remove barriers for veterans who want to form a business. And my personal favorite for those of you that want to start your own business uh, like we have, here's a couple of additional benefits for you. Effective January 2022, the benefit waives the formation fee for new 100% veteran-owned businesses, entities, and relieves veteran-owned businesses of the Texas franchise tax for the initial five-year period. So normally when you start up an LLC here in Texas, the cost is going to be around $300, including some filing fees, give or take. So what this allows you to do if you're starting a 100% veteran-owned business is you can waive those fees as well as the franchise tax for the first five years pretty big deal. Then you're going to get into some of the educational benefits. Now, if you've deployed to Iraq like myself and Travis did, then you're going to be eligible for post 9-11 GI Bill, which is a pretty good bill. It's the one I used to get myself through college as well and earn my bachelor's degree. However, Texas has its own program called the Hazelwood Act that you may be able to take advantage of as well. The Hazelwood Act has been amended several times over the years. The most recent amendment was made in 2019. The amendment expanded the eligibility requirements for the Hazelwood Act and increase the amount of tuition-free education that veterans can receive. And here's some of the eligibility requirements. To be eligible for the Hazelwood Act, veterans must meet the following requirements. To be a resident of Texas, to be a veteran of the U.S. Armed Forces, have served on active duty for at least 90 days, and have been discharged from the military under honorable conditions. The benefits include tuition-free education at any public college or university in Texas, tuition reimbursement for up to 150 hours of credit at a private college or university in Texas, and tuition reimbursement for up to 100 50 hours of credit at a foreign college or university. And of course, with the military, there's always going to be an application process. To apply for the Hazelwood Act, veterans must visit the website of the Texas Veterans Commission. On the website, veterans can fill out an application and submit the required documentation. You'll need proof of residency, proof of military service, and your DD-214 discharge form. And now we're going to move on to the Veterans Parks and Recreation, which uh, is a pretty good deal, by the way. You got to make sure to get your Texas Veterans uh, State Parks card right here. This is a pretty uh it's a pretty good deal right there let me zoom in just a little bit there you go boom this will get you into all of the state parks around Texas and no charge. So Texas offers a variety of parks and recreation benefits to veterans, including free hunting and fishing licenses, free state park passes, and discounts on camping and other activities. For resident and non-resident disabled veterans, you get free Texas Super Combo hunting and all water fishing package. Resident and non-resident disabled veterans are eligible for a free Super Combo hunting and all water fishing package that includes a hunting license, a fishing license, and an annual state park pass. Veterans do not have to be Texas residents to qualify. So you see here in Texas, we even don't mind the outsiders hanging out. To get the free package, veterans must submit proof of their disability to the Texas Park and Wildlife Department. Proof of disability can be a copy of the veterans DD-214 form, a letter from the Department of Veterans Affairs, or a letter from the veterans doctor. Once veterans have submitted proof of their disability, they will receive a free super combo hunting and all water fishing package in the mail. And this package includes your hunting license and allows veterans to hunt big game, small game, and waterfowl in Texas, your fishing license, which allows veterans to fish in any public waters in Texas, and the annual state park pass, which allows veterans to enter at any state park in Texas for free. And how do you qualify? Resident and non-resident veterans who have lost the use of a foot, leg, or have 50% or more disability rating and receive compensation from the VA are eligible. Now there's several ways you can apply for this. I just uh, stopped by one of the local state parks and went in the little ranger station right there and just did a real quick application and they handed over my card pretty easily. And then the rest you can apply for uh, probably through other local vendors and places where you would go normally for your hunting or fishing license. Now active duty residents service members are eligible for the super combo hunting and all water fishing package free of charge. But wait, there's more. Uh, we're only about halfway through, but now we're going to get into the Department of Motor Vehicles and all of the benefits you get with them. The first of those could be a free driver's license for disabled veterans. Disabled veterans who have a 60% or greater disability and are receiving compensation from the VA are eligible for a no fee driver's license. Disabled veterans who have 50% or greater disability rating from the VA or a 40% disability rating and have a lower extremity and 
amputation are eligible for the disabled veteran designation. Veterans must provide an original copy of the following documents as proof of eligibility. Their DD-214, DD-215, NGB-22, VA disability letter with rating percentage, and Texas concealed handgun license or license to carry with a veteran designator. On top of that, you can get disabled veteran license plates. Disabled veteran license plates in Texas are special license plate issued to honor and provide benefits to veterans with service-connected disabilities. These plates offer certain privileges and parking benefits to facilitate the mobility and convenience of disabled veterans. Here is the eligibility and how to obtain these license plates. And of course, you've got to qualify based on your disability rating. So you must be a veteran who has been honorably discharged from the United States Armed Forces, have a service-connected disability rating of at least 50% as determined by the Department of Veterans Affairs, and obtain certification from the VA confirming your disability rating. And that required documentation will typically consist of a completed application for the disabled veteran license plates. That's form VTR 615. A copy of your DD form 214, which verifies your military service and honorable discharge. Documentation from the VA confirming your service-connected disability rating and complete the application for disabled license plates with all of that information above. Now, my recommendation would be go to the DMV website and get that form and fill it out ahead of time. That way, whenever you get there, you'll have all of that done. Make sure you have all of your documentation ready Ready to go because nobody likes to hang out at the DMV, right? You don't want to be around there any longer than you have to. Now, there is one key thing about uh, medical certification. So there's two types of plates you can get because now they just passed the law in Texas to where uh, used to, if you had a disabled veteran's license plate, you could park in a handicap space. Now you have to have the handicap symbol on your license plate or you need to get a hanger. So if you just have a disabled veteran's license plate, like mine's a specialty plate that has the Iraq campaign medal on it, which I like. I think that's kind of cool, but I can no longer park in a handicapped location. Not that I ever did anyways, but if you want to do that, which it does make it easy when you're like going to places like the airport, you actually have to have the symbol on there, which will remove your Iraq campaign medal or Afghanistan campaign medal or, or wherever it is you served. If you want something displayed like that, the handicap symbol will take over that, but that'll allow you to freely park. Or if you have the Iraq campaign metal like I do on my plate, then I need one of those hangers that goes in the rear view mirror and you have to get approval from a doctor now at this point. So even if you have disability rating from the VA, you still have to get a doctor's note from a licensed physician that confirms that so you can get that hanger or the specialty license. And that medical certification is a part of the application process and you'll need to obtain the medical certification from a licensed physician or a doctor at the VA hospital. This verifies your disability rating and may require an examination or medical records review. For fee exemption, disabled veterans with 50% or higher disability ratings are typically exempt from license plate fees. However, processing and handling fees may still apply. You can submit your completed application, supporting documents, and any required fees to your local county tax office. And once that gets approved, they'll just send your license plates in the mail, and you can even get veteran listed on your driver's license, which makes it a little bit easier to get out of the tickets, by the way, but you still need to drive safely. Now, I would say one of the biggest benefits of having those disabled disabled veteran license plates is that you get a park for free at the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport as well as Love Field. That's a pretty big deal because you can park in short term parking at no charge, which means you can pull right there in the covered parking right across from the gate, which is typically 25, I think 25 to 30 bucks a day. And that'll be no charge. Now, here's the key. You have to get a ticket. You can't go through any of the toll booths. So what you want to do is usually on the very far right side, when you're going through the airport, there will be uh, two right lanes that say ticket only. Those are the ones you want to go to because if you go through one that has any toll tag symbols and try to get a ticket, it'll read your toll tag and then you'll be screwed at that point. So you want to go to the far right and look at the ones that say ticket only, grab a ticket and you could go park for up to 90 days, <laughs> 90 days for no charge. That would be thousands of dollars. But I've taken many trips to the airport where I've been gone five to seven days, come back, the tab was like $300 and they just zeroed out because they have the ticket. They'll read your license plate and they're like, have a nice day. Thank you for your service. And that's a huge benefit. And another great thing about it is that you could even be exempt from some tolls. Now, I don't believe that applies much here in the Dallas area, but depending on other toll providers throughout the state of Texas, you could be exempt from tolls based on your disabled veteran license plates. Then of course, when it comes to entertainment, I mean, you know, us veterans like to have some fun and go check out some games and hit up some of the local hotspots. 
spots and there are some advantages for you there as well. You can get veteran discounts at Texas Ranger Games, Dallas Stars Games, Six Flags Over Texas, the Houston Astro Games, SeaWorld, and Schlitterbahn. And if you don't know what Schlitterbahn is, well, then you should Google that and check it out. And of course, many other small businesses offer veteran discounts if you just ask them. I mean, typically any CrossFit gym or other types of gyms usually offer military discounts. Several different companies, small businesses throughout Dallas, at least, just depending on what the situation is. And then you have companies like Home Depot, which you can get 10% off everything, 10% off of everything as a veteran. So these things can add up, especially over time. So I wouldn't pass those up. I would take advantage of everything you possibly can because you've earned it. Now, the next subject, not so much fun to talk about, but it is necessary whenever it comes to cemeteries and life insurance. Texas has four state veteran cemeteries in Abilene, Corpus Christi, Colleen, and Mission. All Texas veterans, their spouses, and dependent children are eligible for burial. There is no charge for burial of the veteran or their family. The Veterans Affairs Life Insurance became available on January 1st, 2023 and offers guaranteed acceptance whole life coverage up to $40,000 to veterans with service-connected disabilities. You can check that out on VA Life and to learn a little bit more about that. That's a pretty good deal right there. You can even do lesser amounts that are available in increments of $10,000. Under this plan, the elected coverage takes effect two years after enrollment as long as premiums are paid during the two-year period. And last but not least, we've got to get into the housing benefits, which is uh, what we're very passionate about. We love helping veterans make their move in and around the Dallas area. And again, like I said, if you're not moving to Dallas, feel free to reach out anyways, because uh, we've got a huge network of referral partners that we trust, not just around the state of Texas, but across the country. So no matter where you're moving to, let us know if you need some help, we can get you a trusted agent in that area. All right, so let's start out with property taxes, because that is a big deal. A lot of people are a little reluctant to move to Texas because property tax. I know they're working on a couple of these bills in the Texas legislature at this time. Really recently, Governor Abbott came out and said that he's working towards completely eliminating property taxes, which would be huge and would blow Texas up. I mean, you think people are moving here now? If you got rid of property taxes, I mean, it would be floodgates opening up there. But as a veteran, you don't have to wait that long, depending on your service-connected disability. Now, if you don't qualify for the service-connected disability, always make sure you put your homestead exemption in place whenever you buy a home. That's going to offer you some reduction of your taxes, you know, for the year. And if you're a veteran without a disability rating, then that's going to be your main exemption is pretty much like anybody else to have that homestead exemption. But depending on your disability rating, there are different ranges that you can add to that for an additional savings off of your tax bill. If you're rated from 10 to 29% for disability, you can receive 5,000 in property tax exemptions. If you're 30 to 40, 9%, you can receive 7,500. If you're 50 to 69%, you can receive 10,000. If you're 70 to 99%, you can receive up to 12,000 property tax exemption. And if you're 100% disabled, it will completely wipe out your property taxes here in Texas. And that is huge, big time. Now, let me explain how this works. Let's go with 10,000, by the way. Like if you're 50 to 69%, that's the easiest. So let's say your home is valued at $300,000 or assessed as the taxable value at $300,000. Now with the homestead exemption, that's usually about up to 25% that you can reduce off of that. So you would take 300,000 and reduce 25% of that, which would be about 75,000. So that would make your taxable assessed value around $225,000. Now, if you have a veteran exemption to add on top of that, let's say $10,000, then that would bring it down to around $215,000. Now these are estimates don't quote me on this. This is merely for educational purposes. You always want to verify and confirm with the local tax office. But essentially what that is saying is that if you're a veteran with 50 to 69%, you're eligible for that 10,000 plus your homestead exemption. Your assessed value originally would be at 300,000. That's what you'd be taxed at. But with those deductions, you would be taxed off of a value of 215,000, even though your home may be worth 300 or your home could be worth 350. We're really talking about the assessed value 
unique, which is completely different than the appraised value. And sometimes if your assessed value goes past your appraised value, that's a problem. You never ever want to let that happen. Now, again, if you're hundred percent disabled, you don't have to worry about this, but if you aren't and you are fighting on some of these things, that's what you have to be mindful of. And by the way, we work with the best company in the business to fight your property taxes. If you're not hundred percent disabled, that information will be in the description below. Their name is in center and they will work with you to reduce your property taxes as much as possible. Now they are free of charge unless they reduce your taxable amount, then there will be a fee involved, but you can read all about that on their website. I will put the link below so that you can check that out and reach out to them and see how they can help you. Another housing benefit for veterans here in Texas is the veteran housing improvement program. The Texas Veteran Home Improvement Program is a loan program that provides Texas veterans with below market interest rates to finance home repairs and improvements. It's administered by the Texas Veterans Land Board. To be eligible, veterans must meet the following requirements. You must be a Texas resident, be a veteran who served on active duty in the U.S. Armed Forces for at least 90 days, or who was discharged due to a service-related disability, own and occupy the property as their principal residence, and have good credit history. And you can do a loan up to $50,000 for a two to 20 year term or loans from 7,500 to 10,000 for a two to 10 year term. That's pretty good for a home improvement loan. And of course, veterans with a VA service connected disability rating of 30% or greater qualify for a discounted interest rate. The loan proceeds can be used to make repairs and improvements to the veterans existing primary residence. Eligible repairs and improvements include adding or repairing accessible features for disabled veterans, making repairs to damaged or deteriorated roofs, siding, windows, or doors, making repairs to plumbing, electrical, or heating and cooling systems, making improvements to the kitchens and bathrooms, adding or repairing security features, and making other improvements that make the home more safe, sanitary, or accessible. All you have to do is go to the Veterans Land Board and their website, and you'll be able to find this information and apply for it there. And another big benefit with the Veterans Land Board is the Land Loan Program. Now, this is a one of its kind in the nation, giving Texas veterans and military members the opportunity to borrow up to $150,000 to purchase land at competitive interest rates while typically requiring a minimum of 5% down payment for tracts of one acre or more. And these terms will go out to 30 years on a fixed term loan. That's a huge deal. For a $150,000 loan with these current rates, I mean, that could be less than $900 a month on your principal payment for that loan. Then of course you got the good old VA loan, right? And you can have more than one VA loan. Now there's some things that you need to understand about that. I won't get into all of that good stuff, but you can reach out to us. We work with one of the best mortgage partners in the business. I tell you what, he's helped me on several of my last VA loans and he can work wonders. So that's his area of specialties, but still reach out to us if you want to discuss the VA loan, but I'm going to give you some of the stats and data here. So the VA loans are available to eligible veterans, active duty service members, and surviving spouses. They offer a number of benefits, including backed by the U.S. government, which means that lenders are less likely to lose money if a borrower defaults on the loan. This makes VA loans more attractive to lenders, which can lead to lower interest rates and more favorable terms. They do not require a down payment. This can be a major benefit for veterans who do not have a lot of money saved for a down payment. And VA loans do not require private mortgage insurance or PMI. Now PMI is a type of insurance that is required on conventional loans with less than 20% down payment. And without PMI, that could save you hundreds of dollars per month on a loan as compared to a conventional loan if that was added on. VA loans have more lenient credit and debt to income requirements than conventional loans. This means that veterans with less than perfect credit may still be able to qualify for a VA loan. And VA loans can be used to purchase a home, build a home, or refinance an existing mortgage. And if you get a VA loan in the current market, which right now we're hovering around 7% interest rates, you always have the IRL, which is the IRRRL, okay? So that's the interest rate reduction and refinance loan. I say that three times fast. But what that means is, is that after after six months and actually every six months, if there's a lower interest rate than what you got your original VA loan at, you can refinance practically with no charge. They don't charge you for that. The VA wants you to have the lowest interest rate possible, which is pretty cool because let's say you buy a home now, six months down the road, the rates drop to 5%. The VA is going to allow you to do that Earl and re 
refinance, typically with no cost back to you and get that 5% interest rate. In another six months, if rates were to fall to 4%, they would allow you to do the same thing. The VA will allow you to do that every six months as long as interest rates are lower than what you currently have. So it's a really win-win situation, but I probably wouldn't do that past two years. I mean, if you can reduce your interest rate anytime within the first year or two of your loan, that's always the best time to do it in my opinion. After that, probably just stick with what you have because you wanna start breaking down that principal payment as much as possible. Now, just because you have a down payment means that there is likely going to be a funding fee associated with your VA loan. Now that's typically around $10,000, but it can be added to the loan and built into the payment. So if you get a loan for 300,000, then you're really getting a loan for 310,000 to roll in that VA loan. But of course, having a service connected disability could completely eliminate that VA funding loan. If you're, I believe, 70% rated or above, you wanna check the current ratings and regulations that go along with that. But it is based on that. You can completely wipe that out, which is you know, gonna save you $10,000. But if you have to pay the $10,000 funding fee, it's really not that bad, especially when you can roll that in the loan. It's not going to increase your payment by a significant amount. And of course, the VA is gonna have some of those requirements just like everything else. And they're very similar to the other requirements that you're gonna need for all of the other benefits to get access to these types of programs. So you need to serve at least 90 consecutive days of active duty during wartime, served 181 days of active service during peacetime, have six years of service in the National Guard or reserves, or serve 90 days, at least 30 of them consecutively under Title 32 orders. Or you are the spouse of a service member who died while serving or due to a service-related disability. And you can't have more than one VA loan at a time. I tried to pull that off recently on a purchase of mine. However, if you have zero down on the first loan, it's not likely you're going to get zero down on the second VA loan. So you could still have some advantages of doing a second VA loan, but you may have to come up with a sizable down payment to make that work. So again, you wanna to talk to a qualified lender. We've got one of the best in the business. So if you have some questions around that, we'd be happy to connect you with him. But his information, Brian McCauley, is also down in the description below. So that pretty much sums up the veteran benefits here in Texas. We hope you found that helpful and please leave a comment below as well. Did you find this helpful? And also, is there anything that we missed or that you know about that is coming up or coming down the road for benefits for veterans here in Texas? Again, being a fellow veteran myself, I want to thank you for your service. And we absolutely love working with veterans. And again, my name is Levi. My business partner is Travis. You know, we've helped so many people move, not just within Dallas, but from out of state and out of the country. We've helped several soldiers move from Japan, from South Korea, from Germany. That's been a huge honor being able to help them because we know once the military transfers you or once you get out and you realize, okay, I'm taking the family to Texas, that's a big deal, you know, and we want to make that transition as smooth as possible for you. So if we can help you out in any way or answer any questions, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom call. All of that information is in the description below. And again, until next time, well, we hope to show you around town.